Hey, it is Mark Natcher, Macomb County Realtor, and I am excited to bring a topic to you today that a lot of people ask, and I'm like, I have a stickler rule to it, so are you ready? Here we go. Do I need a pre-approval to see a house? Yes, you absolutely do. You want to know why? Stick around. We're going to jump into it. Again, this is Marnette from Macomb County Realtor. Don't forget, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. So, why? You're saying why. You say why, right? You're like, Marnette, I really like this house, and I just want to see it. And I'm like, why do you want to see it? Because I want to buy it. I'm like, how are you going to buy it? Well, I'm not sure yet. Hmm, sounds like you don't have a plan. This is the reason why we require a pre-approval of some sort before you go and see that house. You don't even know how you're gonna buy it, right? So let's say you're gonna do cash. Sounds good. Send me your proof of statement. I don't care if it's a 401k, it's a stock, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna pull this out. That absolutely makes sense. That is actually a plan. You may not recognize it as a plan, but it's actually a plan, right? But on the other side, we're gonna get pre-approved. We're gonna use financing. That is what 95% hmm, are doing. Not a problem. It is the norm, right? Here's the thing. No, we do not see the house and then go get pre-approved. We get pre-approved and then we go see the house. Why? What if you don't qualify for the house? Now you don't call me, you all hyped up. I'm ready to take you out. This house is beautiful. The family has loved it. We done walked through it. Now you call the lender. And the lender may say, mm, it's not a no, but it's just not a right now. I need you to do this, isn't it? Not a bad response. Okay, fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right? Or he says, yeah, you can buy a house, but under these terms. And I tell you, no, but the house only has these terms. And the house won't qualify for the terms that the lender gave you, but you like, these are the only terms that I can buy for. Then I got the family looking at me sad and upset. Think about it in this way. Whenever you get ready, typically, to go to the grocery store, we go to the mall, we're going to hang out, you're going to do something, you're going to plan something, what do you do it according to the budget? You look at your account and you say, oh, these are the available dollars that I have to be able to spend. And whether it is cash or credit, I know that how I can finance these transactions that I plan to do. So think about that. That's the same way with the house. It is never a good idea. Seriously, guys to go and start house searching and then get your pre-approval. You wanna just know beforehand, it actually brings so much power. And remember, there's a process typically when you're moving forward with your pre-approval with either your lender or your preferred lender that is actually recommended by your real estate agent, right? Sometimes it can be an approval that takes place and you can get it in a couple of hours. Sometimes it takes a couple of days. They may need some documents. Oh, I love it when they run you through underwriting. That is absolutely so valuable. Oh my God, like just wonderful, right? That's not a bad thing, but you have to do the hard stuff first. We need to know what your buying power is. So don't get upset when the agent says, I'm sorry. I can't take you to see that of property until we confirm what type of financing that you're approved for. They're looking out for you. They're doing this in your best interest. They wanna make sure that whatever property I show you, I never have to come back and say, I'm sorry, but we can't make an offer on that property because you don't qualify. It's a very disheartened feeling for you, for them, for everybody, right? Remember in this process of home buying, for investing, whatever you plan to do, it's a relationship. You build a team and you should be able to trust the person that you're working with. So trust them when they say, we just need you to get your pre-approval first. And it's not a bad thing. It's not at all. It's in your best interest. So again, this is Marta. I am your Macomb County Realtor here of Michigan. I'm super excited to be bringing you this information. I truly do hope that this has helped you and I hope that you walk away with the nuggets. Let me go confirm my buying power first. Let me go confirm my buying power first. Then you can walk through the house even with it. Like, like, hmm, yep, I got it. This is it. This is it. Because you can make your offer as soon as you walk through the property and confirm if this is the one. And if not, you keep looking. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And whatever you're doing, if you're in the process of purchasing a home or anything else, and you haven't completed your first step, your buying power confirming it, go out and get it. Hey, drop me a line to let me know that you did. This is Marnette, Macomb County Realtor. Have a great day.